Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 8, 2020. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see on Friday, it fell quite aggressively. We were down roughly 0.60. Um, and we haven't had a fall like that since basically over here in the beginning of December. So we have been rallying from the bottom here of 89 all the way up to uh, roughly, give or take, uh, 91.57. And we ran into major resistance here. So we were way outside of the Bollinger Band. We were on the edge of, uh, no, not really edge of being our bot, but nearly over the edge of being our bot. And this pullback was completely expected. I think that we are going to see a continuation of this pullback. Whether or not we break below the 20 and the 50 moving average, that is to be seen. Last time we had this pullback, we reached the 20 moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band, and then we rallied again. So if we if we see another continuation of this uh, pullback, it will be bullish for, for example, gold, silver, and uh, commodities uh, in, in general, and also indices and so on. But um, a pullback from here and a rally that will be that basically means that we are going to go much higher in this market and this could basically be the bottom of this market so it'll be interesting to see but um, expect a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band roughly uh, 90.54 that's where we should find support and if we were if we are going to uh, rally from there uh, then we are going to take out these previous highs and probably head towards 90, 92. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have continued this, um, uh, this rally um, for no real reason, to be very honest. I think at the moment it's pure speculation that everything is just going to go back to normal really fast and uh, that we're just going to produce more than we were producing and buying before the, uh, the pandemic. Uh, that is very, very, very unrealistic. The world economy was actually slowing down just prior to the, to the pandemic. The pandemic just uh, speeded up the process. So there was a recession coming. It was slowly, um, uh, it was basically the last two uh, years before uh, the pandemic, the world economy was basically slowing. We were producing less and less and so on. And to think that we are going to go back to levels of uh, 2015, uh, 13, 14, and so on, uh, that is not very realistic at this point. Probably in 2023, we're going to see those kinds of that kind of demand. But at this point, no, that's not going to happen. So we are most likely going to see this market being pushed all the way to $60. Uh, but at the moment, you should not buy here. There is very likely going to be a... It's very likely that we're going to fall back towards the middle of the plunge band. And that's a drop of uh, roughly $3 to towards uh, 53.30. So um, yes... Uh, pullbacks at the moment are buying opportunities. Uh, you could look at the fundamentals or just trade this market. And this market basically says that getting close to the 20 exponential, that is a buying opportunity. Going below that, that is probably an even better buying opportunity. So we are in the uptrend. We are basically in a channel here. And at the moment, we are basically in the upper part of the channel and are expecting a pullback towards the middle. So 53 that is your target for a buy-in. And the target at the moment is $60. So let's see what basically happens. Technical indicators are still very bullish. We are significantly overbought. So a pullback towards the middle here, that is what I am looking for. So natural gas. So natural gas, uh, weather conditions are still fairly bad. It is really cold in the northern part of the uh, northern part of the hemisphere so so we'll most likely hang around here if we manage to take out the three dollars then we are probably going towards 3.5 uh, to these very highs here but uh, three looks like it is very very resistant at this point so 
at this point, technical indicators are turning around, so we could be heading back towards the middle of the bullish band at 2.66. Um, it is to be seen. We are very overstressed, way outside of the bullish band here, and the tree is also major resistant as it looks like. So uh, at this point, pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band are probably buying conditions uh, if the weather conditions continue as they are at this moment. So let's look at copper. So copper had an amazing run on Friday. At this point, uh, we are heading towards the top of the Bullinger Band. We took out the 50, 20 and the 20 simple moving average here in the middle of the Bullinger Band. And uh, we are, all the technical indicators are turning around, except the MACD is not right there yet. But at this point, it is very likely that we're going to the top here of the 3.7. That is going to be our target. Pullbacks towards the 20 moving exponential moving average are buying opportunities at this point. So let's look at gold. So gold has had a very, very difficult time. And um, so I can put up my previous analysis for gold, uh, which were, actually went the wrong way. I was expecting a rally in gold, but uh, the triangle analysis it did hold it just went the other way so we saw the bottom here in december or the end of november and then it rallied or trended into this corner which was expected however i did uh, expect a rally from from gold not a breakdown from gold so this analysis was correct however this was completely um not what I expected from gold to to basically drop towards 1800 or even below that. I was expecting a rally towards 1900, but it is a 50-50 thing. Um, what we're probably seeing here is that that people are not putting money into gold as a safe haven anymore. People are putting money into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is the um, it is a new or additional a safe haven when you are in an economic downturn. So we could actually see gold head into this channel. It is possible that this will be a downward trend for gold for the foreseeable future. In order to determine whether or not this is the case, we need to see gold head back towards this um, uh, lower uh, this so previous support level and if it gets rejected here and heads back towards these lower levels then we could see actually gold go to first of all to 1762 which is the previous lows here then to 1700 and then well be uh, below that and probably go to 1700 before it starts rallying again so this could be a very bearish move uh, for gold if it's correct that people are instead of putting money into gold and silver as a safe haven, they are basically putting money into cryptocurrencies instead. So we'll have to see. But at the moment, this triangle has been broken and uh, we could get basically get rid of this. And it lo more looks like we are going to head towards um, lower levels in a downtrend or this downward trend channel. So we'll basically see rally up towards the 20 exponential at this point should be selling opportunities and not buying opportunities. If we manage to break above uh, this uh, upper resistance line, then we could see a rally up towards 1900. But we'll have to see. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point for gold. Um, and this is very surprising, to be fairly honest, considering how much money has been putting into the system and how much money is expected to be put in the system in the near future. So let's go to silver. Silver has found support here at the 20 exponential is holding very well. So the 20 is a buying opportunity The 50 is also a buying opportunity. And um, yes, and the very highest here is at, uh, at 30,000. So we are actually trading it within a uh, square here of the bottom being the 200 moving average give or take and the very highs here 
So at the moment, we're training right in the middle. So if we break down towards this level here, that is probably as much, uh, that's the best buying opportunity that you can get. Or the 50 or the 20. And heading towards the very highs here, that's actually a selling opportunity at this point. So we're actually trading sideways. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see where we are actually going with this. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. MACD, Stochastic are flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum it continues to rally the 20, uh, or between the 20 and the 50, is uh, an area of, of uh, importance when you're considering buying this. So 20 is, it has rallied from the 20 several times, but it's not like we go get close to the 20 and then it rallies. It's more like we cross the 20, head towards the 50, almost get there, and then rally. So we have done that three times in the past, four times. Here, 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 and also here. And it looks like if we manage to take out these previous highs here, or basically these previous highs, then we're probably going to 1200. That is most likely where we're heading to at this stage. Technical indicators are all turning around. It's looking fairly bullish for platinum. So uh, pullbacks towards 20 or the middle of between the 20 and the 50, that is basically your buying opportunities with a stop loss underneath the 50. So let's look at pallium. So as you can see, we uh, reached the bottom of this uh, square last uh, week. So we have been trading in between the highs here of 2.5 and 2.2. We hit the bottom here, rallied, and now we started to rally up towards the 50. We have crossed the 20. The 50 looks like it's more resistant, but a take out the 50, that opens the door to 2.5. Pullbacks towards the, down, the bottom here are major buying opportunities. So in my view, you should not enter this market um, at all if you're not at the top or at the bottom. To enter the market in the middle here, it basically can go either way. You can get stuck for several, several weeks uh, or get wiped out with your stop loss. So getting close to the uh, 2.5 is a selling opportunity. Getting close to the 2.2 is a buying opportunity. So let's look at uh, aluminum. So aluminium has rallied above the 50 moving average. At this point, we are targeting these uh, highs here of 2.071. The very lows here are at uh, 1.933. And uh, yes, we did not fall all the way down to 1900. We are actually going to rally here. So most of this is also due to the US dollar uh, depreciating. And uh, as long as that is the case, we will go higher with this. But I think that uh, it is very risky to enter it right here. If you wanted to enter it, you should have entered it right there, roughly at 1958, um, and then target the highs. But even there, it was also risky because the 20 and the 50 moving average are could have been resistant. So at this point, you kind of wait until it rallies, finds the resistant pullbacks towards the 50, and if that is supportive, then you can basically enter this market. So all these indicators are turning around, so we are most likely going to go higher at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has uh, taken off quite substantially on the, on Friday session, as was also expected. The 20, 50 moving average, or just above the 50 moving average, is a major resistance. We didn't really get close to the 50 moving average, and then it rallied. Uh, more than yeah, more than three four percent, give or take. So, technical indicators are turning around. So, if you manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are going all the way to 18,500. Uh, 18, that is basically where we're going next point. So, pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 that are buying opportunities with a stop loss right underneath here. So, let's look at sugar. So sugar has also taken off. It is too late to enter this market at this point. We are probably going to target these highs. We could also pull back towards the 20. If that is the case, then that is a buying opportunity. Um, 
break down below the 20 towards roughly 0 0.1552. That is even better buying opportunity. Technical indicators are turning around for, for sugar. So we are also entering the, the season where there is going to be increased demand for uh, this commodity. So yes, we are most likely going to see this go much, much higher in the coming days. But pullbacks towards the 20, that should be your buying opportunities, similar to what you saw here. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we rallied significantly on, on Thursday, and then we had a pullback on Friday. So this is probably going to be a fairly good uh, buying opportunity if we can get back towards the 0 0.80. 66 so roughly to the 20 exponential moving average technical indicators are turning around here so we were way overstretched in the you can see it here in the bullet band we were way outside we are inside now but going back towards the middle here of 0 0.8102 that should be a buying opportunity for this commodity so we are in uptrend and we're just continuing uh, bouncing off the 20 in moving average so let's look at cocoa. So we have started our rally here. Uh, whether or not we manage to stay above the 50, that is going to be a question. The very highs here are 2.8 and the very lows here at 2.2. I do favor the upside due to the fact that we are also coming into the season where we're going, there's going to be increased demand for this commodity. And therefore, I think we're going to see a similar uh, rally like we saw here in November. Uh, so, yes, that is what I think is going to happen. So target in the in the next few weeks will most likely be 2.75 and then these previous highs. And after that, we'll probably go to 3. So um, technical indicators are, um, are looking more uh, promising at this point. However, we have been here for a very long time. 200 moving average has been the bottom, the 50 or 50 or just about the 50 moving average has been the very top. So let's look at wheat. So this market looks like it is about to take off. We are, uh, we have been testing the 250 moving average several times now. And I would not be surprised if we were to see a rally up towards the 20 or the simple moving average at 654 or the very highs here of 682. 50 moving average is holding. We have been here for three days now or actually more, yeah, three days now. And we have not managed to break below the 50. Technical indicators are slowly turning around now. So we'll most likely see a rally to the upside. So... Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.